So, this is my second part of coloring, okay? Now, you can see where I've accentuated around here, but unfortunately it's not blended very well. I have a colorless blender, which kind of helps to blend that in and make it not so obvious. Look at how that is over here. That's not very good. Of course, this is an older... And then, um, see how we just kind of do it a little bit darker around the hairline, just to give the uh, illusion of a shadow. Okay. And then over here, the shoulder's going to be darker. So we'll take the colorless blender and make that a little bit more, you know, even looking. Same thing with this arm. It's going to have a shadow on it because it's um, in the back. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't really blend this very well. But that's the thing. You know, you do the harder stroke, but then you use the colorless blender to make it look a little bit more natural. See. And then you can see how I did with the dress. And I just take the colorless blender and try to make it look a little bit not so, you know, not so harsh with the lines. See, so you can see, you know, the, the blender helps blend it out and makes it not look so harsh. See, it kind of helps out with those harsh lines and such. So, that's basically, and then lots of times we'll do the bottom of the dress. Like in these different pleats. Just to give that sense of a little bit of three-dimensional. Okay. And then this one's pretty good. I shadowed that one pretty well. Sheesh. What you want to try to do is blend it all in so it doesn't look like it's lines. Mamma mia, this one's not very good. But the more you work with the blender, the more natural it's going to look. See how I took that harshness? Well, sort of. These are older, so it's going to be hard to blend them. But um, hopefully you get the idea, you know, by the... Um, top of the dress there's going to be a bit of a shadow right here on her body so we use the blender to you know try and even that out and make it look better and you know same thing with the pink dress see some of these look a little bit harsh but this is where the colorless blender comes in and I get everything from Prismacolor, because to me, these are the best coloring pencils. But you can see where I've made it darker, where there's going to be a shadow. See? So hopefully you get the idea. I love doing this. Like I say, they're very, very intricate. And uh, it takes a lot of work. But I tell you, I love the end results after I've worked on something for several hours. I hope that became helpful to you and y'all have a great evening. Bye-bye.